Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with denying the antecedent. This is going to be another formal fallacy and it's going to kind of be the opposite of affirming the consequent. Let's take a look. So denying the antecedent means using the denial of the antecedent to conclude the denial of the conclusion. Basically we're taking if P then Q, not P, therefore not Q. Let's take a look at some examples to understand why this is a fallacy. So, if it is raining, then I will have my umbrella. It is not raining, therefore I do not have my umbrella. As with our previous example, it's possible I just take my umbrella to work every single day. So, there could be a case where it's not raining, but I have my umbrella. If we build a house with brick, it will be stable. We didn't build the house with brick. Therefore, the house is unstable. Not necessarily. We could have built the house out of steel. We could have built the house out of diamond. We could have built it out of, I don't know, adamantium. If Miracle sees Thomas on the way to work, she will be happy. Miracle did not see Thomas on the way to work. Therefore, Miracle is not happy. There could be a lot of other things other than Thomas that could make Miracle happy. So, we should be able to see that this is going to be a fallacy. That was denying the antecedent. Also, today we did rules of replacement answers one. Yesterday was affirming the consequent and double negation. Next time is going to be appeal to force and transposition. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org. And stay skeptical, everybody.